mother of Marine Lance Corporal Dylan Marola, Gold Star mother. Uh, we thank you for your, the sacrifice of your family. Uh, and we thank you for being with us today, Cheryl. I, I know this must be a very, very hard day for you after a very long year. What's going through your mind today and as you listen to Jennifer's report there? Um, I would really like to have the investigation report um, because the stories are coming out at the moment and I would like them to publicly release from the DOD an investigation report of the truth of what happened in Afghanistan. There is one report uh, of a Marine who says that they gave a picture of someone that they were concerned about, intelligence was concerned about, um, and that they saw someone they thought might be that person and asked for permission to uh, to fire and that that was not given to them. That that That's all we have on that. It's just one person's account. It may or may not be accurate, but it what is it like, you know, to hear that there were those concerns and to listen to the voices that you just listened to in Jennifer's report? To know that they had, you know, potentially had eyes on the suicide bomber is really heartbreaking. Really heartbreaking that they could have saved not just our 13 family member children, but also the 160,000 Afghan or 160 um, Afghan women and children and men that they killed that day. Um, you know, talk to me a little bit about Dylan Cheryl. Uh, he was 20 years old, and um, you, you say that he was a, a very happy young man who really wanted to serve his country. Yes, Dylan was so excited to serve his country. He was proud every moment, every step of the way. The glow on his face, the moment that he came out of boot camp was just amazing and priceless. And you have another son now who has joined the Marines, right, Cheryl? I do. My son is 24 years old, and he joined the Marine Corps. You know, it, it, I know Gold Star Mother is um, something, you know, that you're obviously, the nation is proud of you for this sacrifice. It's not a title that anybody ever wants. Tell me about what this year's been like for, for your family and, and what you would say about that mission if you had a moment to talk to the leadership in this country? This past year has been extremely difficult on my family and the families of the 13. Not only them, but also all the children that were out there, Marines, their families, everybody that day struggled and are still struggling with the events that happened on that day. If I could speak to the administration right now, I think better planning is what they needed to do, and they did not do that. When you they basically failed our children. When you spoke with him, um, did you have any idea? Do you think he had any idea that he was going to find himself in the circumstances that he found himself in there? I don't believe that they, any of them knew what they were actually getting into when they did arrive over there. And when you were watching, did you watch some of what was going on prior to this? You know, I, I can imagine that must have been very difficult for you because we all saw the people, you know, hanging onto the plane and, and what's going through your mind as you're, as you're watching that, knowing that your son is in the region. When your child is deployed or in the area, you watch everything that's going on in that area. You become one of those parents um, that constantly are watching the news and every event that's going on, no matter where they're at. Well, Cheryl, I, I, I thank you for being with us only because it gives us a chance to, uh, to remember your son and to remember Lawrence, Lance Corporal Dylan Marola and the other 12 who lost their lives that day. I have uh, spent time talking over this year with Riley McCollum's family and, you know, this was a tremendous, tremendous loss to all of you and to your families. And, and I want you to know that we keep him and we keep the rest of them in our minds and in our prayers. And we are grateful for their service to this nation. They're heroes, every one of them. And I very much appreciate you coming on today. I know it could not have been easy. to make sure that they always remember the lives they gave or saved on that day.
they saved a lot of lives. They absolutely did. Cheryl, thank you very much. And those lives will be forever indebted to your son and to the rest of those Marines. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.